So there's been a new wave of flame balls ballers coming in. You got, you know, of course the old names, Kenley Jansen, you've got uh Roldis Chapman. Those were always the big name closers in baseball, but there's really a new wave and we're going to discuss some of those names, but in particular, who right now would you say is the best closer in baseball, right? If you had not the ninth inning bases loaded two outs, who do you want in that game? Uh, Jake, I'm going to go to you first. Uh, who do you want in that game? Yeah, obviously, there's a bunch of names that you can say. You can say uh, Felix Bautista, you know, he's been having a great season for the Baltimore Orioles so far. Um, Josh Hager got off to a little bit of a rocky start when he got traded to the Padres last year, but doing fine this year in 27 games with a 1.37 ERA. Um, you obviously got the All-Star, David Bednog, from the Pirates last year. You got, you know, who's always been a reliable closer, who... I mean, he's struggled this year at points, but, you know, I still think you can rely on him as a closer. It's Craig Kimball from the Phillies. Um, really? Mm. But, you know, as the best closer, I think, he, I mean, you just got to give it to Felix Bautista. You know, to throw one or two with that much command, you know, I think is difficult in this game age. But then you look at, you look at Longest Chapman, I mean, he's, he throws fast. So I think he touched one of five the other night, right? Maybe one of four. I believe it. I believe it. First of all, Craig Kimbrell, like maybe I'm biased because I'm a Sox fan, but he was awful for us in 2021. So, um, and I would put anyone who's above 35, it's hard to say they're the best. But I, I your answer, otherwise, I think your answer was solid. My answer is kind of long, so I'll go to you next, Jordan. Uh, who's the best closer in the game right now? I'm going to go with Emmanuel Classe from uh, the Guardians. Um, he has a, um, an ERA of 2.8 right now, but his strikeouts compared to how many innings he's pitched, 29 strikeouts in 32 innings, and only seven walks, too. That you like to see a ball that, that doesn't walk a lot of people. Um, and also his, case, his strikeouts per nine right now is above eight, so you like to see that, too. You want a, uh, you want a, a closer who doesn't allow a lot of contact, so. Yeah, uh, both very solid answers. So I'm I'm gonna just list five closers right off the bat, and I will pick my one. I will, so I'm not gonna ignore the question. Okay. Uh, but I'm gonna list five in no particular order, and then I'll pick my one. So just five that come to my mind right now, and I'm I'm sure I'm forgetting some too. Uh, that you guys have brought up. Uh, that may warrant mention, but I will pick my best one. So. First, I'll just say Liam Hendricks. I'll throw him in here. Like I said, I'm the White Sox fan. Is he doing that great to start the season? No. Did he just come back from beating cancer? Yes. So you got to take that into mind. But he attacks the zone just like you want to close it Well, I have wanted to see him close out a game in Chicago this weekend. Yes. Shout out to Liam Hendricks. (laughs) But instead, we pitched our worst pitchers. But anyway, well, Graveman was one of our best. But anyways, another topic. uh, Jake Marlins (laughs) came in and uh, tore my heart out. But anyways, uh. To the to the point about Liam Hendricks, he attacks his zone. Sure, he will give up a homer once in a while, but nine times out of ten, he's getting that strikeout. He's aggressive. He's just shutdown closer. Yeah. Um, another name to throw in there. You got Josh Hader, right? Uh, again, stats last year weren't great. You got you you got to realize that. But he is elite. His stuff is still elite. He's a flamethrower. He's the definition of a flamethrower. Uh, and this year, I think he's a little more back on track. He's got like a 1.3 ERA with the Padres and about 17 appearances. So you got so you got that. Uh, top three, we're getting a little more up there. You got Edwin Diaz. A lot of Mets fans like to mention him. I have a hard time ranking him the best uh, because he does blow some games, but you you have to you have to take it into account that uh, you know his numbers are elite. They've been elite for you uh, a few years now. So you do have you do have to throw him in. Um, and then where I think the real battle is, Jake picked Felix Bautista. I picked Emmanuel or uh, Jordan picked Emmanuel Classe. That's where the real battle comes in. And I'm going to side with Jake. I think if I had to pick someone, it would be Felix Bautista. Yeah, because you got to see him. You got to see him up in front. I did and last, last week in Milwaukee. Goodness. I've never, I've never seen the guy before. Last week in Milwaukee, 102 on the gun. That's not an exaggeration. Well, he got 102 and then 101 multiple times. Uh, so yeah. sure. Does speed is speed everything? No. Can does Emmanuel Class A have that 100 mile hour cutter? Of course he does. Uh, Emmanuel Class A is a little bit of a higher ERA this year, but still elite. But I'm going to take Bautista. 
uh, simply due to the fact on how elite he's been since he's come up. Yeah. So no signs of slowing down. And to me, like those guys at the beginning I named, Kenley Jansen, Roldis Chapman, he reminds me the most of those guys um, as a flamethrower. Uh, you know, and that's uh, that's just uh, that's just I, I see the most in those two in Felix Bautista. Of course, there's other ones like the Bre- the new Brewers guy, uh, Williams. You know, you got you got him uh, too, who throws. He's more known for off speed, right? Again, you can be that brand of closer, but to me, for the best, uh, Felix Bautista in the one or two mile it's an hour, I'll take that. Yeah, I think there's a, I think there's a couple of names we haven't mentioned. Um, which you know we can't go through every name. I agree, but no, but there are some names double. worth mentioning. So yeah, throw them out. There. Yeah. yeah. So Alexis Diaz from Cincinnati, one point six five ERA in twenty eight games. I think that he's definitely one to mention. David Robinson, um, one point eight four ERA in twenty six games with the Mets. Um, another guy I have biases against because of his time at the Sox, but he has been good. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. 